Hi, Stephen from XClim Tech News. Got an exciting first look here. It's the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1. I've been waiting for this for some time. So just a quick first look and uh, we'll see what's quickly in the box. There's not an awful lot. And uh, then uh, we'll compare it against some other models and things. So, so what we have here is uh, we get the laptop and we get a little box here with some goodies. Um, so of course we get the power cable and everything. It's a 130 watt power brick. It's quite a small looking brick, so that's, that's, that's nice, and it doesn't weigh much. Uh, we get a dongle. Don't like dongles, but, you know, this is a, a USB-C to USB-A type dongle. And then we just got the uh, how-to guides, that type of thing. And here we have the, uh, the laptop itself. So, you know, it doesn't actually weigh that much, really, considering it's a 15-inch. It's all aluminum build. Looks very nice, nice and solid. No screen flex at all. Very rigid panel, that's nice. And of course, it's a, be a touch screen and with pen support. There's of course gonna be a little bit of wobble, but you know, the hit, it doesn't move back that much. It's quite, quite rigid as the hinge, which is very nice. Now feeling the, the surface, it is a, uh, Feels great, rubbery. It's texture, it's got a little pattern to it, which is nice. You do, and one thing I noticed, not many stickers. All we've got is an Intel sticker. I like that. Trackpad is large, it's smooth, with nice resounding clicks. Now the keyboard, it's a maglev keyboard. Um, so you use magnets uh, rather than switches. And it, uh, they do this to keep the, the laptop thin. And hence, uh, you know, it doesn't have hardly any distance of travel you can you can feel a click it's going to take a get getting bit getting used to on that and uh, you have a fingerprint uh, reader combo power button here on the top so that is, uh, that is nice and of course with it being a two and two and one you can do like like tent mode type of thing like that and of course for taking notes or sketching you can do that now of course it's too heavy really to hold in one hand or walk around with it like this it's more suited for like uh, being on a desk uh, but it is uh, nice now one thing i notice here at the top well at the bottom are uh, two cameras not a big fan of uh, webcams down at the bottom but that's uh, is what we've got here because we do have very thin bezels it's hard to see here because the screen's off but it's uh, the infinity edge display and it makes it really compact and small i know that the other camera there is for uh, windows hello login login i suspect and uh, looking at it uh, underneath here, we've got some intakes here, some long rubber feet, and of course, you can't see it probably at this angle, but the, uh, the venting does come out uh, there. Now, if you go on the, uh, the Dell website to look at the configuration, you've got 10 configurations, which is rather crazy. They start off at about $1,300, and you get uh, at, uh, only 128 gigabyte SSD on that, so that's rather pokey, to be honest. And uh, But it, they, you do, the base models, when I say the base models, say the first half, to half dozen or so, start with the i5-8305G CPU. That's um, 2.8 to 3.8 gigahertz. It's a quad-core. It's a KB Lake G. So it is disappointing in a way that it, you know, we don't have like the six core CPUs which you get in uh, perhaps like the Aero 15W and so forth. But then again, it uh, still should be more than capable and it's pretty, pretty much comparable to the i7 7700 HQ. Uh, but what's quite unique about it, it's uh, on the same dial you have uh, some AMD graphics. You got the RX Vega uh, MGL. And that's gonna be quite interesting because that's got uh, 20 compute units or 1280 uh, uh, shaders and it should be pretty capable really it should be similar to like a gtx 1050 or 1050 ti somewhere perhaps in between and i'll uh, certainly test that uh, to, to to make sure see where it stands but see my model here comes uh, with uh, eight gigabytes of uh, ddr4 2400 megahertz ram it's a 1080p uh, full hd 60 hertz panel of course touch it's an ips panel and it uh, has uh, 256 gigabyte SSD and it's a PCI Express SSD. And uh, my model is uh, around about $1,549. Now Dell at the moment has a 12% coupon, so it might be worthwhile buying them. Now you get a bit, uh, bit knocked off. Uh, but of course they go all the way up to uh, 
$2,500 where you have a terabyte SSD, you have um, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, you have um, the i7-8705G uh, uh, CPU, and that just gives it an extra 300 megahertz, um, so it's a little bit faster, but it has the same uh, G AMD GPU in it, and um, of course that option, the top of the line, comes with a UHD 3840 by 2160 uh, resolution panel. Um, so if you're into artwork or, I mean, yeah, artwork or photo work or, you know, 4K video, that one, you might want to be plunging for that, perhaps. Uh, it's, got, it's got a 75 watt hour battery, so I expect some decent battery life uh, life in this. It's got a killer 1435 uh, Wi-Fi. Now, I've had bad experiences with that killer Wi-Fi before, so, you know, proof will be in the pudding. I will test that. Now, just to give you an idea on uh, on size comparisons, of course, two different beasts here altogether. But both 15 inch laptops, so you've got the uh, G7 and the uh, XPS 15 2 and one Totally different, of course, um, but certainly you can see, you know, the fact that you do slim down the, the, the bezels, uh, it makes it quite a small chassis. <laughs> but what's more comparable would be the new Gigabyte Aero uh, 15, and uh, as you can see, it's even smaller than that. But of course, this again has a six core CPU and the GTX 1060. And also to compare, we've got the 14 inch ASUS ZenBook Flip 14 and the, uh, the Dell here. And of course, there's, we expect around about 14 inches. I mean, about, uh, about an inch difference there. And if we open them up here, yeah, there's certainly there's a little bit of a difference, but it's not drastic. And weighing it, we get 4.5 pounds or about two kilos. On the right hand side, we have two USB-C ports with PowerShare and DisplayPort. We have a combo headphone uh, microphone jack and the Noble Lock. On the left hand side, we have two Thunderbolt 3 ports, a micro SD card reader and a little button that will check the battery status. Thank you for watching. Please uh, put in the description below what you would like uh, me to test. You know, um, whatever application I'll try, if it's a trial bit of software, I will do that, including uh, perhaps something like uh, ZBrush or ZBrush. Um, I've done that type of thing before. Um, so thanks again. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.